Hello everyone and welcome back to the study abroad series of my time at Scad Lacoste in spring quarter of 2024. On this weekend, my mom and my aunt came to visit me for a day in Lacoste and then the next day we took a train to Barcelona. We arrived pretty late in the evening so after we checked into the hotel, we pretty much just settled in for the night and prepared for the next morning. We started out the following day by having some breakfast at the hotel. When we finished, we had an e-bike tour scheduled and so we walked over to the meeting spot for that. Upon arriving to the bike tour place, we checked in and then walked outside where there was this cute dog walking around with his ball. When everyone that signed up for our tour checked in and arrived, our tour guide led us around some beautiful spots of Barcelona, giving us some knowledge and history of them along the way. About halfway through the tour, we took a break at the beach and there was this crepe place which I absolutely had to try, of course, and it was delicious. When we arrived in Ciutadella Park, there was this man standing creating these beautiful bubbles and all of the kids and adults were chasing them around. When we finished our bike tour, we did a little shopping and grabbed some lunch before our tour of the Sagrada Familia. This tour was by far my favorite thing we saw and experienced in Barcelona. It was absolutely breathtaking. I have never seen a more detailed piece of architecture in the carvings, the ceilings, the stained glass, and the magical sound of the organ, which is actually playing right now over these clips. This is what was playing as we walked in. After our tour of the inside of the basilica, we had the opportunity to walk up one of the towers and look at more of the details from a different perspective, in addition to seeing beautiful views of Barcelona from a high point. We walked down this giant spiral staircase, grabbed our things, and then on our way out, we saw the organist play. On our way back to the hotel, we came across this gorgeous boutique with these beautiful dresses and had to make a couple of purchases. After some rest at the hotel for a bit, we walked on over to this Indian restaurant and prior to this meal, I didn't think of myself as the biggest fan of Indian food. However, after eating this, I definitely count myself as a fan. The next morning, we saw this woman feeding all of these pigeons outside our window. Then my aunt and I walked to see you to Della Park where we had visited the day before on our bike tour to do some interviews and take pictures of random people in the park for my documentary project in my film class. I asked these different people, what is one thing you wish the world knew about you? And I would record their answer, film them doing whatever they were doing in the park, and take a couple of photos. I had to use Google Translate to communicate with almost everybody, and they answered my questions in Spanish on the camera. I actually ended up going a different route with my documentary project, so I did not use these interviews for that. However, it was a great experience to communicate with these people despite the language barrier. It challenged and pushed me out of my comfort zone, which of course helped me grow. Though I did not end up using the interviews, I did still email all of the people that I interviewed their pictures, which was a cool thing to do in return for them being so kind, understanding, and willing to help me with my project. way back to the hotel, my aunt and I stopped in a couple of shops just to check things out. That evening, we had tickets to see Cirque du Soleil, so we took a taxi on down there and got settled in for the show, which was absolutely incredible. It kept us laughing and in awe of the talent of these individuals.
for dinner that night, we ate at this delicious restaurant called Hummus and Company. And then my aunt and I went on a walk after dinner and stopped in this salon place to get a foot massage, which I had never had before, and it was amazing. The next morning when we woke up, we tried to get into mass at the Sagrada Familia. However, the line was a little too long and the max capacity was already met by the amount of people that were in front of us. We ended up going to Hummus and Company again for some food, packing up our things at the hotel, and then went to the airport to hang out for a while, play some cards until it was time to part ways. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Love you. I watched them board their flight, then walked around the airport for a little longer until it was time to board my flight to Marseille, where I ended up running into some other Scat Lacoste students, which was great because I was able to split the cost of a taxi with some of them. This concludes the Barcelona vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time in Venice.